number of treatments for vocal fold paralysis. If the symptoms are not too bad, sometimes you can get away with just some voice therapy. If they are significant, uh, you'll then need surgery. If you have your vocal fold, this is your paralyzed vocal fold, and this vocal fold is moving but it's not closing. The main goal is to push the vocal folds so this one can close against it. We can do that using injections that can be done in the office or in the operating room. There are temporary ones that last about four months. There are durable ones that last between six months and two years. The most permanent procedure is called a laryngoplasty. Uh, in that you put a, make a little window in the voice box here, you see the vocal fold there, and push the vocal fold over and then put a little shim in that holds it over permanently. Sometimes you can only push over the front part with those shims. If the back part is not closing, you can go around the back of the voice box and put a little um, suture in the arytenoid here and do what's called an arytenoid adduction to close the back part too. So instead of just pushing the front over, you can also close the back. It gets better closure so you can get a louder, stronger voice uh, if needed.